Alright, what's going on, Fishaholics? Welcome back to another video. It's about 6 a.m. this morning, and uh, we're getting geared up. We're gonna go and hit the surf, probably the south side beaches. And uh, yesterday we got on some fish, surprisingly, in uh, some chocolate milk like water. And uh, we're gonna be going back to one of the same spots where we were catching fish. And we saw some big bait, we saw some shad last time we were out there. So I'm hoping that if we go back there today, first light maybe the water will be a little bit cleaned up that'll be that'll help things a little bit but also just if there's some big bait there then uh, we'll have a real chance at catching some nice fish so that's the plan and uh, i don't know where we're gonna end up but uh, i guess we shall see so let's hit the road It looks like overnight the water cleaned up a little bit, which is good. That might help the bite if there's some fish here. But uh, hopefully as we uh, walk down the beach a little bit to where we're going to be really focusing on fishing, we'll find some bait. Alright, so we actually swung around. I was heading west, but I decided to head east down the beach because the tide is I would say halfway down right now and uh, to the east the beach just looks a little bit steeper meaning there's probably deeper water closer to shore so if we find some bass they could just be cruising right at the edge of the lip and to the west where we were catching fish yesterday uh, you know, the tide is pretty far out already. It's already really shallow. You know, yesterday evening we fished uh, to the west when it was pretty much high tide or right after high tide, so the water was pretty high up. So we're going off the beaten path and we're just gonna probe around a little bit. We can always go back west a little bit later in the morning if we want to. So it looks like we got one, two, three, Four gill nets in front of me right now. <sighs> I don't know. I kind of don't want to fish this way, but I have a feeling like this is going to be the good spot. That could hinder a little bit of the fish that I catch, but I don't know. We'll see. We got some good activity. If there's a lot of fish here, we should be able to catch something. All right, so nothing out east here. We're gonna start working our way back west, and then we'll fish, you know, where we actually wanted to fish this morning, or we should have probably, but it just looked good down here. That's why I came down, just to check it out. There's a fish. Found a little one. guy. Probably about, you know, 25, 26 inches. This guy is going to go back. And even if the gill netter gets him, he's going to go back. Commercial striped bass have to be 28 to 38 inches. All right, so we're back at my place, and we already did the rounds, went to the sand beaches, went to the south side rocks, went to the lighthouse, and the tide's really low. It's pretty much low tide like everywhere, uh, so there's not much going on. So since it's midday right now, we're just gonna take a little break, eat some food, haven't eaten much. We almost launched the kayak at the lighthouse to catch the, the beginning of the flood, but uh, the wind picked up from like 15 to 20, and then I think this was the pick up to like 30 out of the west a little bit later, so. I don't know, I just didn't want to push it. And I think if we just wait, and then once the tide gets higher, we can just, you know, surf fish somewhere later in the day, later in the afternoon. But uh, we also picked up a package here. So let me, uh, let me show you what we got. Okay. 
Look at that right there. Long sleeve tee from Josh at J&H for Halloween. Ooh, yeah, it feels nice. All right, thanks Josh for the shirt. Uh, so yeah, we'll pick things back up in uh, you know a couple hours. Let's go get some food, get some sleep, and uh, then we'll hit it again. All right guys, so uh, it's a couple hours later and uh, we were headed to our first spot where we we're gonna fish on the south side, rock somewhere. And I was listening to the radio and it said that the Mega Millions is like one billion dollars or after tonight's drawing it'll be one billion dollars or something like that. So we're actually going to 7-Eleven right now. We're going to get lottery tickets. Then we're going to hit the water. And uh, yeah, I mean, you, you can't not buy a lottery ticket when it's almost a billion dollars. That's crazy. I guess if we win, we're going to be surf fishing uh, <laughs> all around the world for the baddest and greatest fishing catch from the surf. All right, we got 10 right here. Hopefully these are the winners. All right, let's give it a shot here. We checked out the south side, saw a lot of seals, came over here to try and like find a little isolated spot away from the wind. And supposedly a little while ago, there were some bass in close under all these birds here and a bunch of bait. Over there you could tell there were some fish caught. A lot of guys. Must be 20 guys over there. So we're kind of off to the left, away from everybody. Let's see if we can pop a couple bass. We're not gonna stay here long if we don't get anything, anything sizable. All right, we're gonna make a move. Not much going on except some small bass being caught off the rocks. All right, we came down the beach a little bit to where the bulk of the school of fish kind of went and they came in pretty close they're out there blitzing like probably on the edge of the range but we'll try and hit them all right this is the cast right here for a dinker oh yeah something's got to hit that come on come on if we don't get bit soon, we might have to go to the egg float and fly. Might be the only thing that'll actually get a bite, especially if they're feeding on rain bait. All right, this is a fish for, oh my gosh. Look at that. <laughs> the seals are popping up in between me and the fish. They're not helping us. They're not helping us right now. Those fish would probably come in real tight if those seals weren't here. All right, the fish are definitely within range of that rock. All right, let's get them. This should be an easy cast and hook up right here. What? Nothing with the egg float and the fly. I guess we gotta go back to the diamond jig. They're pushing them offshore again. As soon as I got that cast in there, <laughs> they went down and they moved. Oh man, amazing. Oh gosh, there's a seal. That's why they pushed offshore, right there. That freaking seal. All right, we're uh, hitting the road. Gonna go to another spot, one last spot, before it gets dark, hopefully. And it's a bummer we didn't get any here even though it looks so good, but sometimes that's the way it works. You know, they, those fish were definitely feeding on small bait. They were moving fast. There were seals hugging the rocks in shallow. So every time those fish came in close, you know, we probably got only five or six casts within range. And every single time we got those casts in, a big seal popped up right in between myself and the fish. And uh, from what I've been hearing and from the fish that I did see caught up front, they were all like rats, you know. It would have been fun in the kayak, don't get me wrong. Like it would have been awesome if uh, I knew that was gonna happen, uh, you know, when we first got here, then I would have launched the kayak like right out of the gate. But, um, you know, that's the way it goes. So we're gonna, I guess, go to the south side and brave the, the brutal winds. I think it's blowing probably like 15 to 20, uh, southwest, west. 
So we'll go there. We probably got about like 45 minutes left of daylight or until the sun sets. We'll throw metals. We'll throw some plugs maybe into, you know, dark dusk. And uh, that'll probably be our better shot at a bigger fish. That's where I've been, you know, getting some nicer quality stuff. So. All right, and this is right here is why we went where we went first. You know, this morning, that wind was laying low. Now it is a whole different ball game. Don't get me wrong, there's gonna be fish here, but it's gonna be hard fighting the wind. This is bucktail type water right here though. All right, we're switching to a two ounce bucktail. We were using a one and a half, but I don't think it was heavy enough. This will get a fish if he's here. He's sitting down low near the bottom. See, if you look right here, there's actually kind of a little bit of a sandy point right here. Then the beach goes slightly in, and that looks like a nice little trough where there could be some bass kind of hunkering down. There's a fish. <laughs> there we go. Found one little guy to crush the bucktail. I knew there would be some fish here. It looks way too good. All right, Fishaholic. So that's a wrap. Definitely a grind today. And uh, I would say, you know, I've done the same exact thing that we did today. Bounce around all over, fish a lot, almost fish all day, and uh, get skunked. So at least we caught a couple little dinkers. And uh, we did find a lot of fish. I mean, we probably should have just came here, though, first. And, you know, we should have braved the wind because there was one fish we caught here. And then, it, you know, we lost the light and we could have got on a bite maybe if we didn't lose the light. Because uh, the water looked good. But, uh, you know, it's so easy out here in Montauk to do the rounds. And we actually went here first and then we went to the north side around the lighthouse. And then we saw the birds, we saw the bait, we saw some guys catch some fish. And uh, that's why we decided to fish there. And uh, from the little fish we saw caught, most of them were like under 20 inches. So... That's why we left, but we should have left sooner. You know, I so much would have ra would rather get on, you know, a bite of fish holding a shoreline than get on blitzing finicky fish. Whoops, we're back. So, uh, yeah, now it's time for us to go get a bite. And uh, you never know, maybe we'll win the lottery tonight. And uh, I can't lie, probably my next video, uh, you'll see me down in Costa Rica surf fishing for rooster fish. That's probably about right. I really want to get down there soon, very soon, hopefully. Uh, but that, that'd be a dream trip. So if we win the lottery, we'll make our dreams come true. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And like always, never forget, live to fish, fish to live. And I'll see you guys in the next one.